Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Attempster. Today I'm going to be going over how to use the load and save function within the game actuator. So we're going to be learning sort of an overview of what it is and then also how to take player statistics and then save them to a file which then you can later load. So a while ago I did do a very similar tutorial and this was regarding using Python to write text files. So if you want to go ahead and check that out there'll be a link down in the description below. However this method here uses the Blender Game Engine directly to read and write values from the disk. So let's go ahead and get started. So file new, open up a new Blend file, Blender Game Engine, GeoSL, animation frame rate of 60. Alright so what we're going to do here is go to Game Logic and what we need to do is give our player some stats so let's go ahead and make this one health uh, maybe 23 I guess it can be anything uh, this one maybe damage make it like 12.5 and then this one here can be uh, equipped and just make that true alright so we have our three random properties now what we want to do is we want to be able to write these to a file so at the moment if you go to add sensor and choose always and then we go to game join the two together and then click save so before this will work we have to actually save the blend file so go to file save so here I'm gonna save the blend as just something like my game and then we're gonna click save blend file so now if we press play that should write a file to our blend file location and so if we open up the folder here you can see we have the my game and then a bge config file which contains our dictionary now this file here is currently blank and the reason for that is that we haven't actually assigned any values so basically what this is is like a giant global dictionary for everything in the game so the way you can think of it is sort of like a contents page in a book Basically what we have is a list of all the different pages we've added and in the content section we will add different pointers to different sections. So for example in the game if we were to add the property health to our global dictionary we would basically be adding an entry in the content page pointing to a page with that value on it. So let's go ahead and implement it in Python to show you directly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to make the window bigger here and we're going to in here type in write.py uh, import blender game engine and then from here we're going to make ourselves a module so let's call this def write cont own is equal to cont owner and then from in here what we want to do is we want to basically write all of these to our global dictionary so our global dictionary is defined by bge dot logic dot global dictionary as you can see down here. So if we want to add an entry we have to type out this to actually get the dictionary then a square bracket, a quotation mark and here you can add the name of what you want so I'm just going to call it ASDF then closing quotation mark and closing square bracket then I'm going to type is equal to and this will basically give it a pointer to point towards something so next time when I call ASDF from this it will spit out whatever value I add here. So for example here I can add in a string uh, my secret number is 27 and basically now whenever I call ASDF from our global dictionary it will go ahead and show me this string here. Underneath we can put print dictionary, and then we can just put square bracket ASDF now what we're doing here is whenever you want to make a new entry all you have to do is put is equal to and that will reassign it to whatever you put here if you want to just get the entry all you have to do is just put in the square bracket and it will retrieve whatever it is alright so over here let's go ahead add a python controller module and we're going to choose write dot write because our name here is write as well we should probably change it to start or something and put that in there alright and then join that in with the always so now I'm going to press play and then we'll go over to our toggle system console and you'll see we have printed out my secret number is 27 now the cool thing about this is you don't actually have to have a string which you put in there you can actually go ahead and assign it to a number or you can even assign it to a list of items so uh, we can just put 
item one or item two and then item three and so when we press play you can see that three different items are returned so now that we know how it works we're going to go ahead and we're going to delete this and so now what we need to do is somehow store all of these now what you can do is you can store them in a list or what you can do is you can store it in a dictionary so this will be very similar to the global dictionary except it will be a sort of sub dictionary just for our statistics so here we can type in player one statistics is equal to and then a curly bracket and in here we're going to put health and then a colon so basically what this means is we are creating a new name and we are assigning that name to whatever is on the right here and so what we want to do is we want to get our value from here so we can just type in own and then health and then a closing quotation mark closing square bracket and then we want to do a comma for the next item and here we're going to type in damage and then a quotation mark colon space own damage and then another comma for a new item and we'll do our last one which is uh, equipped and then a colon own and then equipped all right and so now at the end of it we also need a curly brace like so so now what we're going to do is we're going to get the global dictionary so bge.logic.global dictionary and what we want to do from here is we want to assign player one stats oh, we can put an underscore in as well the name here doesn't matter at all it doesn't have to be the same as this uh, we could even just make it uh, number one stats and then a quotation mark and colon and then what we want to do is we want to assign it to our player stats so then this entry here will point to our player statistics and from that we'll be able to get anything we want so I'm going to copy and paste this name here and just to make sure it works we're going to type in print and then this whole sentence here and this should return what we've assigned it to so if you press play and then we go over to our window you'll see we have our damage we have health and equipped so now that we've assigned something to our global dictionary what we can do is we can run this actuator here and it will save it to our file so let's go ahead here at a keyboard make it spacebar and then uh, over here we'll add an and join it in here and just remove this one alright so that should save it and then we'll minimize those and then what we also want to do is we want to always load it so let's go ahead at a game and this will be loading in our global dictionary so always load that in so once we press play and then exit out again we can go to our folder here and you'll see we have a my configuration blend file and you'll notice something along the lines of health equipped damage and number one stats is there so that was how to get properties and save them to a file now what we want to do is we want to take the values from here and then we want to apply them back into our game so here i'm going to press enter and go to the next line then here define a new function call this load and then cont and then a new line own is equal to cont.owner and from in here we want to take the values from this and we want to assign it to our properties so to get these properties again we just need to copy and paste this so this here will go ahead and it will get our global dictionary and then it will get the number one stats so let's go ahead and assign this to the my stats variable so my stats is equal to and then our global dictionary now in the next line here we're going to load these in so own health is equal to my stats and then square bracket quotation mark and then health so basically the name we typed in here we can just put in there and then same for the damage own damage is equal to my stats health then own equipped uh, is equal to my stats and then equipped 
So this top part here is when you want to save something and the bottom part here is if you want to load it in. Now we don't actually need these game actuators down here, you can just type in one line of code to replace them. So what you can just do is in here, instead of having an actual actuator, you can just type in bge.logic.save global dictionary and then two round brackets as a function and then you can do the same for loading it so over here if we replace save with load then there we go and so now you can just go ahead and delete these because we're doing it in the script already so this first function here is actually going to be save and so we're going to choose a keyboard called save make it s and then this here is going to be our load function so let's make it L and then what I'm going to do is delete both of these and here we'll add a Python controller, join it in, module and write.load. So we're referencing this section and so now what we want to do is choose tap for both and then what we can do is select the I over here, go to the render settings, choose debug properties. So now if you press play, you'll see we have our properties on the side. Now for example, to change one of these so we can see how it works, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to add myself a property and we're going to assign health to zero. Then we'll add an always and join it in. So now if you press play, it should look something like that. Then we'll press L to reload it from the file and that will change back to 23. Damage also changed to 23 and the reason for that is in our script here we reference damage as health which doesn't make sense so let's put damage in there. Now if you press play it's assigned to zero we press L to load it in from the last save point and that will change to 23. So there is one problem with the save system that the text file system doesn't have and that is that you can only have the save file in the same directory as the .blend file. So that means wherever I save this, then this here will show up beside it. Now you can't really change this at all, so if you do need to be referencing multiple files from different areas, I would recommend using the text-based method with Python, but otherwise this method's also very helpful and very useful, as you don't have to read the whole file and then decipher what you've written before. So there we go guys, that's the end of this tutorial, hopefully you enjoyed it, if you did feel free to leave a like, comment or share down below, all that stuff is greatly appreciated, if your one didn't work out there will be a finished up blend in the description below, along with all this code if it somehow confused you, hopefully this gave you a bit more insight on how the whole global dictionary works, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, have an awesome week and I'll see you guys in the next one.